then the natural question will be, what is the nature of my existence? What am I? Who am I? So this is not a question that we must feed into somebody's mind. It is a question that must arise because Sadhguru, my name is Maud Hurst and I am based here in London in the UK. I have been watching your amazing journey across America in awe of the beautiful landscapes and um, I love that you're bringing the wisdom of the Native American people into the public eye because connecting to the earth right now and connecting back to nature seems more important than ever. I have a wellness company called Energy Rise um, and my mission is to make yoga, meditation and energy healing uh, accessible to as many people as I possibly can. So my question to you is, during this time of Covid when we all have so much more time on our hands to be introspective and to look at our life choices, I've experienced so many more people um, looking for meditation um, as an answer and so what would you advise people that are just starting out on their spiritual journey to ask themselves? What is one question that would be helpful for people to um, be looking at at this time when the rest of the world feels uncertain and actually we can look inwards for these answers? Thank you and I look forward to hearing your response. I hope our paths cross soon in person one day. Mwah. Namaskaram, Maud. Uh, congratulations uh, for your efforts to uh, take yoga and meditation to as many people as you can, congratulations for that. But those uh, who want to go on a spiritual journey, what is a question? A question will naturally arise when we discount all the conclusions that we have made about ourselves. Starting from our gender, our education, our race, religion, nationality, uh, it you know, other family and other kinds of identities we have, if we understand that these are all acquired identities, everything that we have acquired, including our physical body which we acquired over a period of time, accumulated over a period of time, and our mental structure or our psychological framework which we also ac accumulated over a period of time, consciously if you can just sit in one place and keep it aside, everything that you've accumulated, then the natural question will be, what is the nature of my existence? What am I? Who am I? So this is not a question that we must feed into somebody's mind. It is a question that must arise because you have discounted everything that you had assumed as yourself. These assumptions are fine when everything is normal. Right now, you are in UK, somebody says, I'm a man you, <laughs> I'm Chelsea. At that moment when the game is on, that identity is okay. But as you said, right now there's a crisis, now there is a situation where all those things won't work. So now, you like this, if you keep away every identity that you have acquired, everything that is an accumulation from outside. If you keep it aside, natural question will be, what is the nature of my existence? What am I? Who am I? This will be the question. But we should never feed this question into somebody's mind. People will uh, develop scholarship about who am I. That's not the way. The, the pain of not knowing the very nature of my existence should tear me apart. That is when there will be an answer quite instantaneously. The problem is, for most people, this is uh, either an academic question or a scriptural question or worse, it's an entertainment question. So if you keep these things aside, everything that you are not, keep it aside, then naturally a very deep question, it need not even find words. The pain of ignorance will tear you from within and once this happens, knowing is not far away at all. Thank you, Maud. All the best for you.